hello all so today we have come up with um, another question for this um, week um, so myself saheli and with me uh, neha has joined today so today's topic is um, like have you have we ever uh, shared um, like um, our project progress report to the stakeholders or to the client uh, with the client and how how is our experience on that and uh, how we handle if we get any kind of um, questions or concerns from the uh, client uh, or the stakeholders when we sharing uh, those project progress so let's start and um, first i will share my experience um, and followed followed by that neha will also share her experience as well so so yeah so this is very common to all of us we um, we all get this kind of request from um, our clients or our stakeholders so uh, i will share here that when stakeholders request for a progress report on the project so first try to understand that what is the agenda behind it uh, because uh it will help you to understand the specific information they are looking for and the purpose of the report so that you can prepare your data accordingly now once you know that uh, what is the agenda behind the ask then what you can do like um, you can start preparing the like we uh, progress report and uh, based on my experience like there are a couple of metrics we try to show during our uh, project progress report and i will name few very common metrics like committed versus accept accepted stories for last three four sprints burn down velocity story cycle backlog health also we discuss the challenges the team is currently facing facing we also share the valuable insights and the lessons the team has learned from previous sprints or project and this can include uh, both success and the areas of improvement and also pro we also provide an overview like with the present and past data always we try to give an overview of the next or the future project goal or the sprint goal and the planned feature this helps the stakeholders to understand what to expect in the upcoming iteration to always um, try to add that as well in your uh, progress report now this uh, progress uh, report meeting presents for us an an excellent opportunity to raise the awareness about specific risks that um, may require assistance from the stakeholder or client and they are already present uh, in that discussion so take this opportunity and raise the those um, concerns and wherever you need their help raise those point appropriately if you have it now uh, one i i want to share here that based on my experience i have always observed that instead of only relying on the theoretical data try to give some screenshot or show them or, or just open your uh, management tool like whatever you are using like jira or adio and uh, just show try either try to give, show them some uh, screenshot or uh, just open the tool and show them that uh, visual representation of the progress okay visuals are often more understandable and accessible to the stakeholders now in some scenarios when you are presenting so many matrices in a uh, in a like a project um, call uh, project progress call it is not always uh, be the case that all your matrices are appear favorable at first glance right so don't worry about it just be prepared with the proper data or the justification then i think you should be good now coming to the second part like um, this kind of discussions are always bidirectional so you can definitely expect some question from the stakeholders or clients now here instead of like merely uh, listening to find kind of an opportunity to respond it is always Im important to genuinely understand the question what being asked and here we should be having a very active listening skill because it will give us the uh, like um, 
genuinely uh, understand the question which ha which is being asked like and also um, like the grasping the context and comprehending their concerns right so after the stakeholder has finished the speaking uh, just uh, paraphrase their question or concern in your own words to confirm that you have understood it correctly if you don't understand a question which i always like in my experience i have seen like there are few times when I, I didn't understand what exactly uh, they have asked me. So just politely ask for uh, some more clarification to ensure that you provide an accurate answer, right? So you don't, and, and also there could be some cases where you may not have all the answers immediately ready. So it is completely fine to ask for some time to gather, gather the necessary data. So if you don't have the uh, data ready, if you see that you have been asked a question where you are not ready with the proper answer yet, just buy in some time from them and come back um, once you are ready with those answers. It is always better to provide well-founded responses rather than just you are giving some vague information, right? So now this kind of uh, discussion, I have always seen that there will be various topics will be covered, which may be not directly related to the project uh, progress. So it is natural that for additional detail will be always emerged, right? So however, uh, in that case, always you ensure that a well-structured closure at the end so that it ensures uh, the audience gains a clarity on the essential aspect and identifies the ne next uh, action item. So hope it was useful. And now I will ask, ask Neha to share um, her experience. Uh, 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 Neha, you there? So yeah. Share how you handle this kind of uh... so it was a nice experience that you have shared so uh, yeah as you said exactly um, it is true so a progress report is a document basically that shows the progress that our team is making towards completing a project so uh, a progress report can be uh, like some people uh, tries to give through an email uh, through a mail or some prefer to have a presentation on it so it completely depends on Scrum master or a project, uh, I can see. Okay, so progress report or a result of a pro of a project gives an overview to the stakeholders or a client on like the status of the project, the milestone achieved, um, responsibility of each uh, employee or a team member, the issues uh, faced by various team members. Uh, do we have any dependencies or risk that uh, we can highlight during our this? Uh, pro, uh, project progress report uh, or the, I can say a result, a result report. So, and the other information, uh, other important factors that affect the project completion that also we can, we can mention. So uh, this project uh, progress report is to prevent the issue before they happen. So basically, sometimes what happens, like uh, in some in some project, people are not sharing the report, progress reports. So it happens like there is some uh, there is issue like they are not able to meet the timeline, and this uh, is not transparently uh, communicated to the stakeholders or a client before itself. And when the issue occurs, they are trying to communicate it. So uh, this report is essential to prevent issues before they happen to ensure that, that the project will be finished on time and to keep those involved in uh, those involved in form of the project progress whoever is like basically involved in this project like stakeholders client of management the, all these people can be informed about the, uh, this uh, progress report so now the point is why is progress report important okay so the importance of progress progress report lies beyond keeping the track and managing our teams uh, managing our different projects happening simultaneously so progress report also provides valuable insight like on how our team can finish project more effectively and how productive our team is okay so aside from giving an overview of the projects uh, taking place a well structured progress report also allow uh, to identify key issues affecting the team's productivity and a project's progress towards completion. So I can say like uh, uh, there are so many things. So uh, the 
the template which i follow in my project uh, while giving the progress report was basically i have prepared one presentation in which uh, i have uh, mentioned the project status summary key achievements dependencies and risk uh, also i have shown the screen i have upload uh, i have shown the screenshot of the matrices like uh, uh, team velocity burned uh, release burn down chart release burn up chart defect density deployment frequency and sprint scope uh, uh, sprint scopes so we can mean uh, we can include um, uh, many uh, kpis that we want but i have included basically this kpis in my presentation and also from jira i have take out the screenshots of the completed task task in progress and not started yet so all this i have mentioned in the presentation and i have presented this document to our stakeholders and a client so that they can understand like uh, from the release burn up chart because uh, as we all know like release burn up chart measures how many story points are in the product backlog versus how many are completed till the date so it will be easier from them to uh, easier for them to re, uh, visualize like how many story points are completed and also like from deployment frequency they can understand how frequently the team is deploying and how uh, much they are productive so using a burn up uh, burn up chart a team can easy a team can also easily track their progress as they work toward completion of a sprint so uh, as sili has also mentioned some kpis or metrics that uh, we have we can include in our presentation and show to the stakeholders so that they can be, uh, clearly visualize the progress of the project and suppose if we want to make a very short one pager presentation so uh, we can provide a uh, project status through emails throughout the project that communicate uh, basically four points uh, what is being done till now what we have accomplished what uh, complications are in play and what are the next steps that we are going to achieve so um, in my project uh, once what happened uh, we have uh, presented the, the progress uh, report to the stakeholders and at that time there was a uh, i can say it's not kind of a uh, yeah it's kind of a risk i can say there was a, some budget constraint in the team uh, in the project so that we have highlighted in our risk areas and our um, management were also included in the in, the, in that meeting and they have uh, taken this uh, this discussion ahead because it's uh, as it's related to a cost and budget issues so it's uh, our higher management responsibility to take it ahead okay so this is what uh, this is my experience that i have faced so whoever is watching this video please do like and subscribe thank you